hey guys you're welcome to so much fun with the learners and today we're going to be making this skirt first off i got my um bolt of two and this is about 50 yards and i've got um like um two yards of satin and then let's go ahead to the calculations so now from this video the waist of her skirt is 27 her waist roundness is 27 her skirt length is 29 and the full length for the back of the tool that's the two skirts the high low skirt is 70 and the waist circumference now to get the waist circumference you're going to be doing 27 divided by 4 so 27 divided by 4 i got 6.75 so approximating 6.75 i'm going to be getting 6.8 and i'm going to be adding one inch so that one inch now i'm adding is going to be for the zipper this is just for cutting the satin and that's leading me to 7.8 now to get the length of the satin i'm going to be working with 29 which is the front of the skirt length that's 29 minus two which is for the band of the skirt and another two and that two is to make sure that my tool is covering my satin my satin is not showing underneath my tool so in general you're subtracting four so 29 minus four will leave us with 25 and i'm going to be adding one more inch 25 minus 29 minus 4 is going to leave us with 25 and i'm going to be adding one more inch and that inch one inch is going to be for my hemming i'm going to be weaving using the interlock the overlock right so i'm using the overlock so i'm having 25 plus 1 and that's going to leave me at 26 so now we're going to head over to cutting the satin so now after getting my satin um i have to um fold again so you see what i did properly so after getting my satin i proceeded to fold just like this folded into two and then into an angle right i folded into two and into an angle so the next thing i want to do is to take the waist roundness first off right so to take the waist roundness remember after everything we did we got the waist to be 7.8 and then the length should be about 26 yeah so now let's do that so first off i'm going to be taking off the waist which is 7.8 just like so making sure i'm taking it off and then after taking everything off i'm trying to make sure everything was balanced it was a mistake so i'm going to turn this way because the fabric was uh, moving so now i'm going to start again i'm taking 7.8 all round just like so so after taking up 7.8, I join the lines and I make sure I'm having the same 29 and then I'm adding one inch zipper allowance, right? So now to get the length, I'm just going to mark the length of 26 all the way around, just like so, all the way around, just like so. So remember this is a high low skirt but now i'm using the high low more on the tool than the satin because we don't want the satin showing um in between her legs right she doesn't want it showing in between her legs and after the shoot we decided we we're going to be cutting um trimming the tool to more like <clears throat> to more like a shorter um skirt so after cutting this off so make sure i have my um satin ready for the tool the next thing i'm going to do is to use my overlock to close up or to hem all the edges i'm going to use my overlock to hem all the edges so now let's do that and then let's come back to fixing calculating the um tool lengths so i was still getting my lock up the threads passed so i'm just going to come to the back to the satin so i'm going to be reducing the front length of the satin a bit because um i realized I took more a longer length for the front um for the skirts for the front right so i'm just going to reduce it a bit so i reduce it up to the middle and then we are good so now i could hem my um locker was ready so after hemming i came back to doing the tool calculation so for the front the front length i have 29 and i want five steps of tool so i'll divide by five to get six then i add two inches for the um for two inches allowance for the tool so the front length i'm going to be having five step of eight inches tool and for the back i'll be calculating the length divided by um five also to get what i want so for the front after calculating for the front i had um five steps so i divided the satin length into five 
right? I decided divided the starting length into five, making sure everything was correct. So I'm having eight inches of tool filling up the five lines, right? So now I marked the midpoint of my of the waistline. I marked the midpoint of the waistline and then separated it. So I'm going to be ruling these lines just like so. I'll be ruling these lines just like so. So I made a mistake with I'm marking on the back side. So I had to turn over to mark on the front. If you miss the calculation, please just pause the place where I explained and then just go through the board. You see everything correctly. And if you have any questions, please chat me up in the comment section. I'll be willing to explain to you. So now I'm just going to still transfer the um, five inch mark line, right? And then also rule up the line for the front. So now I'm just going to complete it. So after doing that, I completed it just like so, like this, all the way. And then when I was done, I'm going to flip over to also complete the line on the other side. Remember, it's a high-low, so the front has to be um, a certain length and the back also has to be a certain length. So now I'm coming back here also. I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. So I would mark just like so, making sure my lines were correct. And after I was done, I'll do the same thing. So now after doing this, the next thing I want to do is calculating for the back. So let's do that. So now to calculate for the back, the back length is 47, right? But I already have my satin length like I want it to be. So now the 47, I'll come here and also mark the 5 inches line that I did for the front, right? I'll mark the five inches line that I did for the front, right? And I'm still going to join like this. So now to calculate how much tool or how long the tool for the back will be, I'm going to do something now. It's quite easy. It might look a bit complicated, but trust me when I say it's very easy. So the next thing I want to do is to um, get the length of the tool. So now let's go on with that. So now the full length of the skirt for the back is 47 so i'm going to be using a black pen so that we can see it clearly on the board so the full length of the back the back of the skirt is 47 so from this top here i'll put my tape roll down to mark 47 it might not show up totally but this should help so it's gonna mark i'm gonna mark 47 inches on the table so from where i mark 47 i'm going to come down to the last line there and mark and then check what the length is so that length gave me 25 so this is an indication that i'm going to be working with 25 inches of tool 25 inches length of tool for the back so the next thing i want to do is to measure but while i'm measuring up i'm going to be leaving five inches difference Right, I'm leaving five inches difference, and that's because I marked five inches line. The lines or the lines on the satin are five inches inches different. So it means I'm going to be having twenty five inches on each layer, twenty five inches on each layer, just to give a bit of difference. I hope you understand what I mean. Please, if you don't, just chat me up, and I'm going to answer every question you have. So after I got this, all I need to do is proceed to cutting my tool so first thing i started first with was the back and that was because i wanted the back full enough and because the back was going to consume more tool i started layering the 25 inches first from the bottom so now let's go into um cutting the tool so as it is i forgot to show how i cut the tool but then just fold your tool you can have like 10 yards of tool fold it neatly and then you cut out the layers like this so i cut 25 and then I'm going to be starting from the lowest line or the last line, right? I forgot to join this up, so I'm just going to join it together. Remember, we kept to the same five inches all through, right? So it might not be accurate, but just use a tape rule so that you get everything correct. Don't mind me. I was trying to um, meet up with the timeline for this skirt. So now I'm going to start with this last layer. I'm going to start with the last layer. I'll start layering the 25 from the back and then starts with the last layer so after i started the last layer this was what it looked like 
so it looks like this so I, I did two layers here the last and the the fourth one right this was what it looked like so i'm going to fill it up and when i'm done filling up i'll come to the other side i'll fill up the other side and then i'll come to the middle cut my eight inches too and just fill it up and this was what it looked like when i was done very simple very easy to make all in all i used 50 yards of tool for this skirt so the next thing you just want to do is to add your band and also um add your zipper if you can't find um if you can't if you don't know how to add a band you can just check my previous video where i did an ankara um accessory it will show you how to create a band the next thing i did this was my skirt and everything was ready very beautiful very simple i'm sure when she puts on the skirt i'm gonna be posting a picture or a video of how she rocked it thank you